So in high school, I was having seizures nearly every day. I was sometimes losing patches of memory, which obviously isn't good in preparation for GCSEs. And then I went on to do A-levels as well, so it was still affecting me there. One of the impacts for me that like is invisible to most people is tiredness. I'd literally fall asleep in school during like during my free periods and then miss lessons because I'd be like sleeping. It was quite difficult in the sense that some people again they, they, they wouldn't really understand what you're going through and um, that that would then kind of result in you being excluded from certain activities. Being at school and having the seizures and not being able to complete the majority of my mock GCSEs was pretty tough and then having the seizures at school as well was pretty hard because it really makes you feel like isolated, lonely. I'd spend large portions of some of my days in the medical room. Meanwhile, I'm missing out on lessons. I'm missing out on like lunchtime, like being on the playground with my friends. School would be better if they maybe taught the students um, about epilepsy and how to deal with it if someone did have a seizure in front of them instead of like moving away, getting another teacher or a nurse or something like that. When I have a seizure at school, um, my teacher, they might have seen me have one, so they keep it down in a notebook, like what day, when it happened. We have this place called The Hub, where say if I'm really dizzy or I can't stay in the room because it's too loud, I can go there and just have a break from everywhere else. Since I've had epilepsy, I've struggled a little bit with focusing um, and obviously my memory and tiredness and obviously exams can be, be quite tiring. I've always had extra time during my exams and rest breaks as well, um, which has always been really helpful. It is a very overwhelming thing to experience at that age. So just being patient with it and also don't be afraid to kind of go on blogs or get in contact with people. There's a community space with Young Epilepsy and other charities where you can get communicating with people, share your experience. That, that was a really big thing for me growing up with it because it helped me understand that I'm not the only one. Yeah, actually finding people to talk to about it is, is really, really good.